Hello and in this screencast for Apache Isis I want to show you a little bit about how I go about creating uh, TCK tests for the RESTful Objects Viewer. So the TCK DOM is a bunch of example uh, entities that are part of core and the one we're going to use here is parent entity that is a basically a parent to a collection of children and we have a collection of children and also relevant to what we want to uh, test here is um, remove child as an action so I want to show you how to invoke remove child um, first we're going to do this through Chrome and then we're going to uh, write the test itself so in fact I've, I've written the test but what I'd like to do is I, I usually sort of set the thing up with the setup and I put a breakpoint as you can see on line 59 here so this will bootstrap the TCK application uh, and then I can sort of play around so let's run the application and uh, it listens on a certain port which we will see okay there's it running let's go and bring up chrome and uh, it's on this port here 393939 let's go to the services and there's a whole bunch of them uh, we're in interested in the parent entities service uh, and then let's go and list the parent entities available to us go to the invoke and there's a few and you can see uh, there's one here parent 43 and if I go to excuse me go to um, the children collection we can follow that through and down the bottom we can see we have two children in the uh, children collection uh, child 44 and child 45 okay so uh, let's go back to my parent 43 representation and also on here there should be the remove child action here it is let's follow that through to get through to the definition in the sense the prompt for this uh, action so this is the invoke um, it's a post why is it a post because in the uh, code itself let's look at remove child um, there's the ac no action semantics, so the default action semantics are non-item potent, which co corresponds to post. Um, and what else can we see? We've got a parameter type of child entity, which corresponds to the arguments required here. And the value that we need to put in needs to be a link to a child entity. So we, in fact, we saw uh, some uh, child entity uh, links before, didn't we? With the where is it gone? Uh, in the wrong direction uh, collection children so there are some child links but in fact actually as it so happens my mistake as it so happens uh, for this particular action remove child we've actually got a list of choices as well so those are the two candidates available to us and that's just a reflection of the standard ISIS meta model if I go to the choices sporting method we can see that's returning a list of children or set of children as well okay so let's go back and uh, get some of the useful information here we this is the link we want to invoke let's just copy that I'm going to just paste it into notepad uh, we want to be invoking it with a post. We'll just make a note of that. I'm sure we could remember that fact. These are the arguments we want to pass. There's just one argument. Um, and the value we need to pass in is effectively either one of these links. So we'll do that. So what's going to happen is that this is going to be the body because it's a post. We need to make this into proper JSON. Uh, and then the value here or this link rather, it will become the value um, above. So let's um, do that. Too many, too many uh, curly brackets going on here. Now, in fact, we don't need all of this clobber. All we actually need is the href. So um, it'd be fine to have it there, but you don't need it. So that is the uh, body to be sent up to, and it should do our job as long as I make sure I put everything in quotes because it needs to be JSON. Right, so I can't submit that using uh, this UI, but if I go to Postman or any other equivalent plugin, I can I can populate and build up my request. So let's let's just do that. Let's copy over the details. So there's the URL to hit. I'm, I'm already set to do post. I'm already on the body being raw. Uh, here's the 
content to go in and, um, and there we are so if I do a send now all being well we get some response back which is great and let's confirm it this way if I go to my collection of children then we can see there's only one uh, object in there now and let's in fact get rid, of the, get rid of the other guy too let's get rid of number 45 we'll send that as well uh, one more time refresh and everything is gone so that's sort of how I usually work to sort of make sure I understand the, the sort of the interaction and then when I'm writing the TCK test which are basically to test the behavior of the um, the RESTful objects viewer it's a matter of really really of translating all of that stuff into into um, into Java using the RESTful objects applib so uh, as I say I've actually written this one already but let's run through it quickly so here's me getting hold of the uh, representation of the collection of the uh, children collection for parent 43 and I'm making an assertion that there's a number greater than zero in fact there are two as we saw and I'm getting hold of the link for the first of those here then is when I'm going to actually invoke the action so I'm firstly getting hold of the representation of the remove child action then I'm delving into the link representation for the invoke link let's have a look at the uh, code again so that would be um, basically getting hold of this bit this this, this uh, highlighted block there so that gets me hold of that and then I'm going to paste in to the value of the children the child entity the first child representation which is the link so that populates that guy uh, and then my final uh, bit of the test is I'm going to go back and run the same query to get the number of children uh, in the children collection and uh, there should be one less than there was before okay so I hope that makes some sort of sense and that's uh, how we do RESTful objects TCK tests and gives you a feel for the uh, the use of these tools within Chrome and this is JSON view and this is Postman and they're the two that I like alright cheers bye